Hey guys, this is Sympathy to One Eight, and welcome back to another video. And today I'm going to do a DVD and Blu-ray uh, update collection here. Well, I just wear a couple of films and DVDs I've got, and in the past month or two. And actually, surprisingly, I've only had about three Blu-rays. Um, I had I, I got none for Christmas. I didn't really ask for any. Um, ask for these DVDs and that sort of stuff. So that's a big surprise. If you're a new subscriber, you you would um. You wouldn't really know this, but or you probably know by watching my videos. I'm a big fan of Blu-ray and I collect them all, but I've kind of like cut down on buying stuff. To be honest with you guys, um, I've been starting to rent more from Play Doc. Uh, well, Play uh, Love Film, really, but um, I'll show you what I've got anyway, and uh, I'll show you these two uh, comedy ones. It's by Frankie Boyle Live and uh, the Last Day of or oh, Days of Sorrow, and uh, Frank uh, Frankie Boyle's Tramodal Nights. Now these are both um. Well, very funny. I, I I love Frankie, but I know he's really crude, but I really do enjoy his work, and I really did enjoy this one. This had like six mini episodes, and it was on Channel Four, but they don't have it anymore because it's quite bad. It's quite rude. Um, but this is, but Frankie Bell is quite crude and more to the point. He just gets straight to it. You know what I mean? So, but um, yeah, I'm I'm, I'm I wouldn't say I'm a huge fan. I just like watching the stuff, and I've only got another DVD which is him live a couple of years ago. But yeah, I did. I do enjoy his work, and it's quite funny. So I enjoy it from time to time. So yeah, I got two of these for Christmas. So pretty cool. Next one's I actually bought. I thought I, ha I actually had these last year, and I, I don't know what I've done with them. I think I've lost them. But I went and bought them again. They're my favorite chill. Well, one of them's my favorite chill fil film, and the other one's just a. Uh, it was just a. Uh, it was an okay film. It's Homer Brown and Homer Brown Two Lost in Los Angeles. This is my favorite chill film of all time. Love it so much. Um, it means so much to me as well. Even the cat in this film, it's called Sassy. That's what my cat's called. I named it. it. So um, yeah, I'm a huge fan of the film. Um, I'll always, always keep this. Um, I'll always watch this. Um, and never get bored of it because it's an absolutely incredible film. And that's what's called Incredible Journey. But it's a really great film. I loved it so much. And the next one's number two, which was okay. It was not too bad, but. Um, I can see what they're trying to do, but glad I didn't make any more because they would have ruined the whole franchise for me. But I love the first one. Don't get me wrong; it's one of my favorite Chuckle films of all time. So yeah, that's Homeward Bound and Homeward Bound Two: Lost in San Francisco. Next one is actually I think Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy. I've already got this in Blu-ray, so I don't really need to watch this again. Or if a lot of people have seen it, it's a bit of a uh, kind of film. It's not. It's it's a good film, but it's not something I probably watch a lot. And plus, I got it in Blu-ray, so I don't. I got it off my mate for Christmas. I couldn't really say anything, but um, I probably might trade in, or, or trade or do a trade with it or something. So, yeah, take your tail of soldier spy. Next one is the Born Legacy. I haven't seen this yet. Don't have it on either. I don't have it in Blu-ray, so I've got it in DVD now. I probably will watch this at some point, but I'm not a big fan of the Born Legacy films to, to be honest with you. So. I I will watch it, but Jeremy Renner, he's a good actor. He was good in the the Avengers, so yeah, I will give this a watch sometime. But as I say, I'm not a big fan of the the Warren films or Mission Impossible. To be honest with you, they're just not my kind of films that much. Another comedy kind of DVD I got, and I think a lot of people from the UK will know what this is. And Ireland, sorry, it's the Mrs. Brown's Boys. This is series two. I've got series one DVD. Series three probably won't be out till like next year or well, this year but probably like oh, late on it's a really great um tv show i it's hilarious i haven't i've only watched like one or two from this on tv but i need to watch the rest i will at one point but it's a really funny um comedy show um just like basically like um mrs brown and she's like looking after her family looking out for them and all these situations and that so and if you do realize that is an actual man dressed up as a woman but you're obviously they do it in a, a live play kind of thing so that's Mrs. Brown Boys. And the last DVD I got, which I can't wait to watch. And it's funny though, because I actually ordered this in Blu-ray, but it came in DVD, but I actually made a mistake in it. Or I did order it in DVD, but but I thought it was Blu-ray. So I, but I'm not going to switch it back. I'm still going to keep it and watch it. So that is The Possession, the uncut edition. Um, it's based on a true story as well. So I'm really looking forward. I heard some very good things about this film. And um, I can't wait to see it. So, yep, that's The Possession, the uncut edition. Now the Blu-rays guys, um, two I just got like this week and uh, got it on Monday I think it was. The first one I haven't watched yet is the campaign starring Will Ferrell and Zach Galifianakis. Um, love both of these actors so much. They're so funny. Uh, Zach Galifianakis and um, 
The Hangover, one of my favourite characters in the films, and Will Ferrell has been in so many good films, like Step Brothers and all that, and Elf, he's really great. Uh, I haven't seen this film, I got told it's pretty decent, so I picked it up for about £12 on Amazon, so I will definitely give this a watch and uh, may do review in it, so that's the campaign. And the next one is uh, a film, I was actually going to re uh, rent this, but um, like other films like Dread and Lawless, but I might buy Lawless because it looks pretty good. I I'm renting them at the moment, so, well, or I'll put them on my list so I don't know when I'll get them. So, but this one was on my list, but I actually took it off and wanted to get it because I, I, I just wanted to, it looks like a film I wanted to get and I watch, and that is uh, Looper. And it comes as really cool lenticular sleeve from Amazon. You can see there the characters, Joseph Gordon-Levitt, and you can see Bruce Willis there. So, good cast in this film. It's a really nice um, slipcase. You can see it there. You can see the both characters on it. It just looks like a story that appealed to me. Basically, this guy, uh, I don't know the names, I haven't seen the film also, but Josh and Gordon Lewis' character kills off, like, I don't know if they're like mercenaries or people who've been like in jail or that sort of thing, or have done something bad, shoots them, but um, he actually finds out he is this, he is his future. Um, so it's quite confusing. It kind of looks like an Inception kind of film, but I'm really looking forward to seeing it. And, um, I hope it's quite a good one. So, guys, that's all the films I got, really. That's so not not too many blue, as you can tell there. But, um, I will be getting more, eventually. Next ones I'll be getting, of course, I will be getting, um... Skyfall. Definitely getting that. I've seen that about three times in cinema. It's a great film. Uh, I'm actually getting that Steelbook, um, from Amazon. Because I got a normal edition pre-ordered, but then they decided to upgrade to a Steelbook with no extra cost, so I'm not complaining about that. And same with the other film I've pre-ordered, which is Taken 2. I've seen that cinema. It was pretty decent. Not as good as the first one. A lot of hope a lot of hope for it. And, uh, but it wasn't as good as it. But it's still a decent film. Again, I'm getting that steel boot. So that's all the Blu-rays till the end of the month. They'll be up for the next two weeks. So I'll show them to you. And they'll be all on steel boot. So guys, thanks for watching this update. Hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, guys, I'll catch you later. And thanks for watching.